what's going on in the city, what's happening right now. And I can tell you what's, what's in the queue. Uh, we are uh, just getting started with our budget development for the 2013-14. Our fiscal year begins July 1st and runs through June 30th. Uh, I believe we're going to be having budget hearings sometime in, in May. It's hard to, to predict at this point exactly what our budget is going to look like um, because we, we're not exactly sure uh, of uh, our revenues right now. We should have that information probably in the next week or two. Um, and that, of course, will determine um, what, we, what staff can or cannot recommend to, to council. Um, and as always, uh, there, I think last year we had, first year here, we had three budget hearings. Uh, we'll be doing the same this year, and, and all residents will have an opportunity to weigh in and express their concerns and make their suggestions. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing that we have coming up, uh, union negotiations. We have three bargaining units in the city. Uh, Teamsters um, and uh, Fire, uh, those are the two uh, contracts that are coming up uh, for this coming fiscal year. Uh, police contracts come up next year. Uh, so that's a, a fairly intense thing. Of course, uh, backdrop, we, we also have an election going on. I believe the primary is next Tuesday. Tuesday. And then I think uh, the final uh, election is going to be uh, June 4th. June 4th, second. First Tuesday in, uh, in, in June. Um, and as you know, we have three seats up uh, on council, and one of our council members is retiring, so we will have at least uh, one new council member uh, at the beginning of the 2013-14 uh, fiscal year. Other questions, concerns, comments? Somebody. Chuck. Cindy, I, at the last meeting, um, we had quite a bit of over. There was the, uh, you mentioned the uh, contracts in the city. Uh, the original estimate for the attorney to assist in the uh, contract negotiations was $6,000. Uh, the actual price tag came to be thirty. Understanding that any time you talk to an attorney, many times you're running over. But the difference between six and thirty, it's pretty enormous. And that was my problem, too, which, uh, I based my numbers on the last negotiations that I did, well, 13 years ago, working for a city in North Florida, um, and that's all it cost us. If I had taken a second to do the math, uh, because we have an attorney that's uh, a bit more expensive than the one I had in Florida, I would have, uh, I would have had more accurate figures. Um, I can't tell you exactly what it's going to be, whether it's going to wind up being a little bit more or a little bit less, but it's, it's not going to be what the original figure. I apologize to council uh, on Tuesday night for, for giving them uh, the best information I could have. Well, and, and a second point on that, uh, and council member being here, uh, we looked at these, the uh, splash pad, and the original estimates came in, and it seemed like everything's a go, it's big press, and then it's quote unquote dead in the water. And, and why? Because it, the uh, cost is going to be way outside of the lines that we were prepared to pay. How do we get, bring these things to the council? with figures that are not even close to the reality that's going to happen. Well, I think in the case of uh, this last plan, the bids that we came back were, were considerably more than we anticipated. And I think that really just kind of knocked it out of the ballpark for the time being. Uh, <coughs> as was mentioned Tuesday night, uh, we may go back and look at those numbers again in the fall. Um, a good portion of the funding for that was coming from uh, community development block grants. Uh, but again, we, we didn't anticipate the bids were going to be as high as they were. That's something we can't, can't always control and can't always predict. Um, in recent years, and this was based on my experience in another community, the last place I worked was a, a city in Western Colorado, um, labor costs had been fairly low, it had been ever since the recession started. Um, I think we're beginning to see uh, those costs escalate. But again, we gave it our best thought. What we thought the bids were going to come in as, they came in higher, which was a consequence um, the recommendation. Uh, council and the action the council took was to eject the bids. If I could follow up that same issue a little bit, and maybe not talk about that same exact issue, but policies in place in the city, I guess I'm curious is what comes standard operating procedures or policies are in place as to who can authorize work to be done on behalf of the city and have it paid for by the city and I guess I'll just follow up to that is 
and were those procedures followed in this case? Because again, I think we were all a little surprised that all of a sudden there's a thirty-five thousand dollar, a sixty thousand dollar bid, a thirty-five thousand dollar overrun on the engineering, and I understand some of the reasons because we changed the rules. But again, my question is: is everybody seemed to be surprised by it? And, you know, surprises are for kids' birthday parties. So, so do we have? It seems we should have procedures. There's, only these people with this authorization can hire an outside firm to do work for the city, and then you know, we've got to have some policies in place where we have caps that we, we know if we're going over something before we're $35,000 over. John, the only thing I can tell you with regard to that specific question is that it's, it's under, we're, we're, staff is taking a look at it, and at this point, I, I, there's really not more I can do. It's under investigation. I believe there is a procurement policy here, um, but uh, nonetheless, I, I, at this point, I just can't comment on it. We're looking into it. Okay. Yeah. But you did, there is a policy that is supposed to protect us from this stuff. That is correct. Okay. So funds are still uh, going to be directed toward, towards the pump system in the pond, however? Is that the case? The issue, the issue with the pump is going to come back as a, as a separate item. It was okay. really, it was pulled out of that particular package. I do not like seeing the dead fish floating. And, and nor do we, but uh, we, it's something, because of uh, the better revised statutes, it's something that we couldn't do on Tuesday night. We have to come back and do that as a separate issue, put it on the agenda and discuss it then. So we will be coming back before council, probably, in all probability, I don't want to say we get council, with a, with a recommendation um, to, to, to uh, get the pump and uh, Again, we're concerned about aerating the pond as well. We don't want to see dead fish eating. Okay. 